I, th I think your point is uh, similar to uh, Francisco's, and uh, I, and I apologize if I have uh, castigated science as a whole. So just to be clear, once again, I'm talking about uh, trying to understand someone in the public who can't tell whether the needle is flipping back and forth and trying to understand the position that that person is in and that that person uh, need not be, not a, has to be more than scientifically literate, they actually have to make a call on a scientific claim. And I think that's a lot. A lot of that burden is on the journalist, I would yeah. say. Now, um, <clears throat> but the other thing is that I, I still think if I may say that there's a slight glossing over of uh, uh, scientific uh, culpability in this because if we take another, in the case of the uh, estrogen and uh, breast cancer and so on, of course it was subsequent work did not confirm it and it was changed. But then there's the issue of the gay gene that was reported by Hammer. Now we know that's not been confirmed and yet that hasn't been withdrawn from the table. And over and over again, there are scientific claims that are not true and that we all know are not true, but are not um, pulled off. So I, I don't think that um, that our slate is as clean um, as you'd like to believe, and I'd like to believe. And I think that, that, that therefore, in a circumstance like this, where we're all here and we can promise to do a better job, we have to put our dirty linen on the table and, and, and just acknowledge that. I can have okay. one last comment on, on, on Richard Dawkins. It'll be yeah. quick. Um, <clears throat> I was in the back row as you spoke, um, and so I could see sort of a whole room as the words came out of your mouth, as beautifully <laughs> as they always do, and as articulately as they always do. And let me just say, your commentary had a sharpness of teeth that I had not even projected for you. Uh, it was it's more, <laughs> more, I had, a, it was my first time meeting uh, 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 medium and so and I and, and so I felt you more than I heard you and I ask the question um, and this gets back a little to what Francisco was getting at you're a professor of the public understanding of science not professor of delivering truth to the public and these are two different exercises. One of them is you put the truth out there and like you said, they either buy your book or they don't. Well, that's not being an educator. That's just putting it out there. Being an educator is, part, is not only getting the truth right, but there's got to be an act of persuasion in there as well. Persuasion isn't always, here's the facts, you're either an idiot or you're not. It's, it's here are the facts and here, is, and here is a sensitivity to your state of mind and it's the facts plus the sensitivity when convolved together creates impact. And I worry that your, your methods and your, your, your how, how, how articulately barbed you can be ends up simply being ineffective yeah. when, when you have much more power of influence than what is currently reflected in your output. I gratefully accept the rebuke. Um, <laughs> Um, I, just just one, one anecdote to show that I'm not the worst in this thing. Um, a, um, a former and highly successful editor of New Scientist magazine, who actually built up New Scientist to great new heights, was asked, what is your philosophy at New Scientist? And he said, our philosophy at New Scientist is this. Science is interesting, and if you don't agree, you can fuck off. <laughs>